Welcome to Looking For, a channel dedicated to architecture and construction. Today I'm taking you to the beautiful city of St. Petersburg in Russia to present you an innovative project, a skyscraper measuring more than 700 meters. Since the early 2000s, Russia has clearly shown its intention to compete in the race for high-rise buildings. Today, Russia has the most skyscrapers in Europe, including some of the tallest. There are now 19 skyscrapers in Moscow, alone that are over 200 meters high, and no less than 7 super tall buildings, some of which are over 400 meters high. A new and even more ambitious project has just been announced, and it is located 435 miles from the Russian capital, on the edge of the Gulf of Finland, in the famous Venice of the North. On May 25, 2021, the Scottish architectural firm Cattell Collective announced its ambitious project to build the second tallest skyscraper in the world in St. Petersburg. With a height of 703 meters, it would rank just behind the Burj Khalifa and its 828 meters, which has now held the first place of the highest skyscrapers in the world for 13 years. It will also rank just ahead of the new Malaysian skyscraper, the PNB 118, currently in the race for the second place title, ahead of the Shanghai Tower with a height of 679 meters. Although the Burj Khalifa is taller, the new Lacta Center will have the highest occupied floor and the highest observation deck in the world at 590 meters above sea level. The pictures show an isolated tower on an island but its exact location has not yet been communicated by Gazprom. However, we do know that the 150-story tower will be located on the outskirts of St. Petersburg and should stand next to the tallest skyscraper in Europe, the lavish 462-meter Lacta Center, headquarters of Russian energy giant Gazprom, which opened in 2019. The tower's designer, Tony Kettle, who created the Falkirk Wheel in Scotland, and who also conceived the first Lacta Center, is one of the UK's greatest architects. The interior design should meet all current expectations in terms of well-being and amenities. The tower will include offices, housing, relaxation and leisure areas. According to the tower's designer, the new Lacta Center will be a model of sustainable design for global high-rise projects with low energy consumption. Its truly singular shape, with glass surfaces, open and helical, cradled in an exotic metal skeleton, is both aesthetic and functional, as it will reduce the considerable forces exerted on the structure by the wind. An interesting anecdote, the architect told us that the tower was born from the bold idea of being inspired by energy in all its forms. From the helical waves created around quasars in deep space, to wave energy spirals. In conclusion, Colin Bonn, executive director of Cattle Collective, made it clear that the tower project would be much more than a city landmark. According to him, besides being an eco-energy feat, it will have a national impact that will showcase Russia on the world stage as an investor in business, innovation and creative thinking. I don't know what you think about it, but I believe that the tower's design is well thought out. On top of being original, it really takes a step forward in the futuristic look that can be given to skyscrapers in general. How about you guys? What do you think about its singular design? Feel free to tell me in the comments. And if you like this video, don't hesitate to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon on Looking For. Goodbye.